Today I'm going to show you how to use the Socius24 USP carry label functionality. The first step is for me to log into the portal using my unique username and password. Once I've successfully logged in, I navigate to the repacking screen via the operations menu. The repacking functionality dovetails with the carry label query functionality after repacking has taken place. I enter the order ID that I wish to repack and press the search button. I complete the packing by scanning the SKU, selecting the appropriate container or box and entering a new container ID. Pressing the pack button completes the packing action and moves me to the next screen. At this stage I can verify the chosen carrier or I can change the carrier using the manual selection button. I can also change the weight of the container and print the container and carrier labels. Once I've confirmed the repack I can view the generated carrier label using the carrier label query functionality. I navigate to the screen via the data menu. Carry label query allows you to enter multiple search criteria. If you leave the search criteria blank like I have here, the system will return all the carry labels that are being generated. A label can have different statuses depending on what stage it is in the process. Cancelled, available, labelled and confirmed are just a few as you can see here. I can also view the labelled image by clicking on the labelled image next to the relevant record. As you can see, both raw mail and DHL label formats are returned in these examples. If I wanted to search for my specific order that I repacked earlier, I can enter the order ID in the relevant search box. I can also search using the shipment number, status and tracking number. If my order is found, the following information will be displayed. This includes transaction ID, tracking number, creation date and a package tracking link. I can also cancel the label from this screen, which will remove it from the carrier manifest. By clicking on the label request XML icon, I can view the XML relating to the label. It is not possible to edit the information, but it can be copied and sent to the carrier to investigate any interface issues. When I click on the label image icon, the label is displayed. This allows me to verify the information on the label to ensure that it is correct. The package tracking link icon takes me directly to the carrier website along with my tracking number, which allows me to track the parcel easily. As previously described, I have the option to cancel the label request if the goods have not been collected. By ticking the cancel box and clicking the submit button, USP cancels the label in the carrier system and the label can no longer be used. A confirmation message is displayed if the label cancellation has been successful. For more information on the carrier label query functionality, or if you'd like a free no obligation USP demonstration, please contact info at socius24.com.